come with me. Let's go shuffle some tarot. Come, let's go. Capricorn, Capricorn sun or moon. This episode is for you. This episode is all about love and sex, so that means it's for adults only. This episode is entertainment only. Let's start with these goddesses to set a set some kind of theme for us here. Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon. Mm. Let's accept this one. Transformation. I mean, we're all cocooned right now, right? It only ma makes sense that when we re-emerge, it is something beautiful. Let's keep that one hidden. Here's what we're going to do. These cards are you. These cards are love. This bottom row could potentially be incoming love. Or if you're not single, it is who you're currently with. Let's make this work. All right. Capricorn, I'm being called to pull that one out. So let's keep that hermit card right there. We're going to talk this all through once we get all the cards shuffled out. I feel like you're going to meet somebody who owns, owns a bedding company or a franchise of mattresses, perhaps. Maybe you're actually getting a new bed. I feel like uh, you're about to meet somebody very lum lumberjacky, like works outside, has a very physically demanding job. <clears throat> You apply whatever gender you need to, regardless of what I say. Mm, this is exciting. This is exciting. Maybe you're about to meet a Virgo, or you have interactions already with a Virgo. Whoa. Okay, Capricorn, I'm sensing somebody named Jeremy and a George, Kyla, Mariel, Cindy, Cecilia, Jacob, Oriya, Claire, Peter, Fiona, Layla. We want these cards to be accurate and specific. Let us call in Archangel Gabrielle. Kind and compassionate water spirits of the West to speak to us very, very clearly today. Archangel Gabrielle, of course, is the Archangel of Communication and Artistry. Let's take a peek at this one. Mmm, lighting the way. So, we're starting this off with you and cocooning, which makes complete sense if you're watching this during quarantine. Isn't it crazy that we're all in this position right now um, of having to stay inside, be in your cocoon where it's healthy and safe. But what is going to emerge from that? As you can see, with when we pair that up with the Hermit card, the Hermit is still inside. So maybe another seven weeks yet of being inside, or if we, if that lift happens within the next couple weeks of being able to go outside, your soul isn't quite ready yet for the exploration. So to me, this is a soul connection for you that is just cocoon, like it's just building momentum, right? So the person we're talking about who is your <clears throat> romantic other or somebody you're about to meet, perhaps with the initials MM or EM or HF, um, so expecting a miracle. However, when we talk about Mother Mary, that's more about um, single mom, right? 
So maybe you are a single mom or you're about to meet a single mom, but they are an influential person. They are cathartic being in your life. They are going to change the rest of your 2020. Also, we do need a miracle in the world right now. And this is very, you know, transformative to the energy that's in uh, and surrounding Earth right now. So having faith that you're about to meet somebody who's a single parent, probably single mom, but single parent, who's super cathartic and influential in your world. We spoke about the hermit already, and that is the Virgo energy. But the hermit also speaks to protecting your soul and knowing when to allow somebody in closer to your soul. Maybe you're at a state in your life where you're not feeling that soul connection with who you are with right now and you're thinking of ending it, or you unexpectedly are about to meet a Virgo who changes the whole everything, right? Virgos often um, have very, like you're very physically attracted to the Virgo. There's something about their physicalness. Maybe they have extra curves that you love. Maybe they know have they maybe they have Popeye arms that you love. Like there's something about their physicality that turns you on. Um, lying in wait, right? What's the theme here? It's like a cocoon. Lying in wait to see what happens next. Very grounded energy with the buffalo. Stable, reliable, committed. The buffalo I always take with me when I travel. So perhaps once the, these travel bans are lifted, you and your significant other or the one you are about to meet uh, venture off together. So this card for me is all about um, travel. However, the buffalo can also be like you know that awe when you see a buffalo because they're so huge and large and sure of themselves. Perhaps this new person you're about to meet are so sure of themselves that that's what's most appealing to you about them, their, their self-confidence. Just halfway into the reading here, or a couple cards in, making a connection. I'm here behind these cards if it's not resonating for you. It's okay to click out or we could keep going and see what happens. Remember, positive, positive. Judgment reversed. So perhaps we're talking about Libra season in the fall. It could be that simple. Uh, judgment reversed though can also refer to staying in a situation that's not conducive to your needs. Remember, you're cocooning right now. You're readjusting, you're realigning with your soul. And perhaps the situation you're currently in is no longer, once you, once you come out of your cocoon, no longer jives with your soul anymore. You want somebody else, or you want somebody, but you want somebody else is the feeling I'm getting here, Capricorn, like, like, you know what? Our hearts have separated and not in the good way. Can we, can we pull away from each other kindly and respectfully? Look at all this grounded earthly energy. This is definitely, you know, a very um, earthly reading and grounded and skilled, right? It's skilled loving. It's development. The deer is the empress. So the empress card is that feminine development. It's patience. It's deserved loving, right? It's deserved loving. And maybe your current relationship that you have been in for the last while is no longer <clears throat> deserve, like, you know, it's no longer deserved loving. It's moved into boredom, perhaps. It's 
So the Eight of Cups reversed. is exactly this. It's you coming out of your shell, you coming out of a cocoon and being somebody else and wanting somebody else and wanting things that you didn't, you're bored. You're coming out of boredom and changing your life. You want love that is exciting, chaotic, heart pounding. You want your love to be an investment about adventure. And that takes us right into the elephant elephant which is this sign right here is the sign of fire it's the wands it's the action it's the adventure it is somebody showing you a new way and they are as grounded and large as the buffalo all right and that's attractive to you so somebody's showing you a new way of life a new way of loving a new kind of relationship to be in showing you a new bacon and apple product, you know, like that, where you go, oh my God, this is maple and bacon, you know, like that combination that you typically wouldn't go for is being displayed for you and you're on board with it. Yes, this, this reading is so earthly and grounded and phenomenal. It's really phenomenal because it's all about Capricorn and your wants and desires and your miracles, right? And I feel like if you're not gonna meet perhaps, perhaps a Virgo, but then I think Capricorn, <clears throat> it's going to be a Leo. Maybe the Taurus. But it, regardless, it's somebody who can keep up with your level of excitement that you're going to be about to go through. Like you want to go canoeing in rivers. All right. So does this new love coming. They want you to, you want to go hiking. So do they. It's a very physically active relationship that is surrendering to the love that coincides with the physicalness, right? It's like, like perhaps you're with someone who is not an outdoorsy person and it's just not working out for you anymore or vice versa. Something about this new love is a whole new adventure that you've never done before and it tastes delicious. The hawk. For me, the hawk is a conversation with your soul, with your, your spirit guides, your archangels, your guardian angels. That's the sign for me. So this person, this new love has manifested you into their life. They are being granted a miracle and that miracle is you. Do you jump on board or do you just say, oh, that was nice. See you again. I don't know what you're going to do, but let's take a look further here. There's that fiery Aries which is again, action and adventure, right? And this new love is your 10 of cups. You are a pair of cosmic weirdos, all right? The 10 of cups is sincerely loving you. Someone changing their whole life to be with you, to mirror your life and you being okay with that and them being okay with it got some hoops to go through before you get to that but it's there okay. this card keeps falling so we'll listen to it this is the sacral chakra this is your sex organs it's also art but it's more in this case a sexual connection that is stable. A sexual connection like you've never had before is knocking on your door. Let me do this other deck of mine. There was one that flipped and we're going to find it. <clears throat> The lead coyote. Today I am an extra fancy lime. 
I am hypnotic love at dusk. I am the sweet wooded whiff of Palo Sante. I crave garden-rich platters and forbidden humidors. Refusing me is a sin. I should not be here, but I am. So this is speaking to you. I should not be here, but I am. Your last relationship or the one you're currently in has grown a bit of dust around the edges. And are you choosing to continue seeing, <clears throat> being with this person or are you choosing you know, to shake it up? Because there is somebody new who's manifesting you into their world and you are their everything. So if you've enjoyed this reading and it resonates, we can meet over on Vimeo. The link is below for a small fee and see what happens next. Otherwise, thank you.